What is going on, dudes and dudes of the interweb? Thank you so much for clicking. I am AJ, and let's get right into this video. So today we shall continue with our Madonna discography journey, and we will be listening to her fourth studio album titled Like a Prayer. This album happened to be on quite a lot of y'all's top five must-listen Madonna albums. So I look forward to whatever she has in store for us. Y'all already know but we're about to do so without further ado, let's get into his reaction. Shrag numero uno, like a prayer, the album title. Ladies and gentlemen, this might actually be one of the very few songs by Madonna that I may know, okay? Because the title sounds familiar, so let's find out. <laughs> it is the song. I hear you call my name. Like Was that her harmonizing? It's like a little prayer down on my knees. I can feel you. I'm gonna take you there. Yo! Hold up, Matana. Okay, I'm pretty sure when Madonna recorded this, she was like, you know what? Iconic status, thank you very much! <laughs> this song is so iconic, yo! You can play it today, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 20 years ago, okay? Revolutionary, you get what I'm saying? Let's get it, Madonna! All right. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. Girl, let's keep listening. Iconic. Iconic. Okay. This song is iconic. Girl, y'all already know the drill, guys. Zale. Oh, let me put a guess at one mark to it. Who Madonna did that. When they stopped recording, you know what she said? Period. She invented period with this. <laughs> she know what she was doing. All right. I know damn well at every concert Madonna plays this song. At, come on, girl. If you don't, you crazy. This song is beautiful. Oh, man. Track number two, Express Yourself. loved about this track it was the fact that the background singers were were heard you know you can tell that they were involved with the uh, making of this song so I like that and you can actually distinguish Madonna's vocals from the background singers vocals and another thing was the live instrumentation absolutely love that fact it made the song groovy and funky you know so i couldn't stop grooving you know there were times when i was like damn this song is fucking hell but then the instrument the instrumentation just kept me going you get what i'm saying and i also loved what madonna had to say you know she spoke facts she said what she said and she meant what she said you know, all the materialistic things come and go, but what matters is the core values of a human being. Are they able to uh, be compatible with you? Okay, can you guys have equivalency in your relationship? You know, like things that actually matter, the intangible. So I love that aspect about the song. It was funky, dope ass lyrical content, and just overall, uh, 
beautiful production and vocals as well. Loved how prominent her vocals were on this track. Track number three, Love Song. Je suis prête. Vous êtes prête aussi? That was great French. Was that Mazana? How was that some other artists? Cause um doesn't tell me if there's a featured artist or not. It just says Madonna. But the person with the rasp in is Mazana was that you girl? Where did that come from? Cry had to go back. Oh my god, hold on, let me put a guy in a mark to this girl! When I tell you this song started off odd, it started off odd, okay? My goodness, it's sort of strange in a sense because to me, they weren't necessarily harmonizing the way I thought they should, but it was done intentionally. You know, it had that weird harmonization. The patterns didn't necessarily match my brain, at least. But, damn, the song continued to progress. And I was like, ooh, this is funky. This is sexy. You know, it just, it just got better. And, oh, man, there was a point when I think, I, you know, something tells me that's Prince. It does. Unfortunately, this list doesn't really say featuring this artist. But that sounded like Prince, okay? Oh, and when he was harmonizing, it just, um, beautiful. Okay, but this will pop up. Yeah, Zam, I like this one. That was a great combo. <sighs> Seriously, whoever told Madonna to start using autotune? <laughs> Track number four, Till Death Do Us Part. When she said the bru- I was like, wait! Mazana, what's she talking about? Because prior to that, she said, you know, uh, he takes the keys, she breaks the door, or she takes the keys, he breaks the door. I was like, hey, y'all were physical at it? And they talked about bruises, I was like, oh lord. But she said, your words hurt like they hit. Girls talking about all those lines. How do I was girl? I was taking <laughs> I was taking it back, so I needed to, um... <laughs> Reprocess that one more time. Hey, those girls, let's keep listening. Yo, I'm gonna talk about the song at the end. Till death do us part. Wow, I thought it was the end. Y'all. This song is good. The reason why I said that, right, was because I, as the song was playing, I was thinking about different renditions uh, of this track. Like, I, I was thinking about how it would be able to fit in today's uh, music world. And if you strip away the dated instrumentals and just keep the melody or the vocals Madonna laid on this track, you can create a beautiful song. Like, not that it's not beautiful, I'm just saying like, this song can be just tr transformed a little bit <laughs> and, you know, used in at, at different times, in, in different eras. 
don't think some of y'all get what I'm saying, and some of y'all probably don't. Either way, what I'm trying to say is like, this song is timeless. If you can strip away the dated instrumentals, the melody laid on is timeless. So, hold on, let me put it at that mark. I liked it lyrically, sonically, and vocally as well. Damn, Madonna was going through it, huh? She said, I'm willing to uh, continue the cycle till death do us part. Thankfully, she she's not with whoever she was thinking about because that sounds very toxic. Just saying. If you find yourself in a cycle, please get out. Track number five, Promise to Try. Little girl, eyes keep them alive. Yeah. Will she see me? Wow. This was beautiful. Hold on, let me put a guys and mark to this. <clears throat> I'm absolutely loving the versatility of this album so far. I love that she slowed it down and got real deep. You know, uh, lyrical content is pretty straightforward. It just felt like it came from within. Track number six, Cherish. Cherish. Okay, Mazana was in love and she she was a ride or die for her lover. God damn. Okay. Punish her Clyde. Alright, here for it. <laughs> um Alright, so this track felt quite long and it sounded like the pop song of back in the day okay like this song was up in the 70s and song out of some reason the song gives me 70s vibes 70s or 80s something of ground all right one of the two um but it sounds like something that people really enjoyed back in the day and they had fun with it it's very bubblegumish you know and I absolutely loved the bridge all the way to the outro. That was my favorite part of the song. Track number seven, Dear Jesse. <laughs> Like a Disney movie or something? V sounds has that Disney vibe, doesn't it? Interesting. Let's keep listening. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, y'all can't tell me that this song is not animated. It is. It sounds like it belonged to some cartoon or something. You know, like some animated movie. You know, it really gave me that vibe. It's something that I would listen to again, but it's not at the top of the top for me. 
okay? I loved the outro. And I loved when the, um, <laughs> the, the uh, I loved it when the, she, she drew influences from the Latin, uh, track number eight, Oh Father. For a second, I was like, Lazy Gaga. My goodness, it sounded like a replica. But man, whew. Madonna really went through it, huh? I never felt so good about myself. Wow. Oh, Father, you never wanted to live that way. You song had a um, psychedelic vibe to it and it does have a little bit of a timelessness to it as well um this track was actually quite sad lyrically it's, it's straightforward and basically she is she was happy that she was able to escape the toxic relationship she had with her father that's quite unfortunate and if you decide to have children please make sure you are psychologically and emotionally capable of raising a child without inflicting any trauma okay track number nine keep it together fade out huh yo um, absolutely love the outro the song is groovy for sure um, at some point I was like Zaya this song is long guys <laughs> you know this song could have ended at any point and it would have been dope but Lord anyways I, like I said, I like the vibe of the song and I also liked it lyrically but Zana, but Zana was pretty yo was always fresh about you and say, yo. All right, I'm here for it. All right, gospel of Mazana. Um, yeah, uh, you can tell though, she was inspired by the popular sound of back in the day. You get what I'm saying? Like, this doesn't necessarily sound innovative. Like, it, it, it just sounds like she was inspired. Something like, like a prayer. I don't think anything was playing like that on the radio. It, it, that sounded like it came from Madonna. But this one sounded like, yeah, she was inspired. You know, so anyways, either way, it's a groovy song. Track number 10, Pray for Spanish Eyes. I love it when she gets in her Spanish vibe. <laughs> Madonna had a little bit of a rasp puzzles me where did it go maybe it was a little strange for her vocal cords so she had a 
Kerau. Pray for Spanish eyes. Ooh. It was um caliente. You know, I liked it. Pala papa pow. I think I'm hmm, am I gonna put a goddamn work to it? It's something that I wouldn't mind listening to today. Oh, I loved her vocals on it. You know what? Oh my god, I this. Damn. I felt it, you know? And I loved her vocals on this track. She sounded so passionate. This is something that has slowly lacked throughout her catalog. I noticed. Her younger years were more not necessarily vibrant, but like, you know, she sounded like she 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 was out for it. You know, she wanted to be at the top and she was singing with passion and all that. But as time fizzled, you know, she found herself, she 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 found her sound and she built herself to be this iconic person she is and she kinda lost the passion and the vocals. Now she's relying on autotune. Girl. Track number 11, last track on this album, Act of Contrition. What an ASMR. <laughs> What do you mean it's not in the computer? You know what? <laughs> that was awkward. We're going to pretend we hear that. Okay. Um. the point of the final track but I guess we get what we get you know well girl with that <laughs> with that said I'm still trying to process whatever with I wonder what the people back in the day were thinking when they heard this. I was like, I wonder if they were like, huh? What just happened? Anyways, um, well, we have finally come to the conclusion of this album. And I gotta say, this is actually one of my favorite older Madonna albums. It is. Like, this went by quicker than I thought. You know, it, it, it's, it was smooth, it, it didn't feel long, and I had a great time with majority of the songs. I enjoyed them. Um, there was some originality in this album. You can hear inspirations from other artists and other genres in this album, and I don't know, it was just a blend of everything and I loved how vulnerable and just open she was with the lyrics. Uh, she talked about her personal relationships, romantic and uh, family ties, you know. I, I enjoyed it, lyrically and just overall. It's one of my favorite Madonna um, albums, the older ones. So with that said, what were some of my favorite tracks you guys want to You already knew. I'm about to let you know. You ready? So we've got Like a Prayer. Of course, Like a Prayer, okay? Like a Prayer is that girl, okay? What is she, Zuzan? That is what she did. That is what you call an iconic song, okay? Iconic. I said what I said, I said what I said. Anyway. 
Spanish girl. <laughs> um, so we've got Like a Prayer, Love Song. I'm pretty sure that's featuring Prince. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay. <laughs> like a Prayer, Love Song, Till Death Do Us Part, Promise to Try, and Pray for Spanish Eyes. Hmm. Yeah, well, those are my favorites. I remember Old Father because Old Father was Zeep, okay? Madonna went Zeep. And she basically sang about <sighs> toxic relationships between parents and kids. Those exist, okay? And it's completely okay for you to cut ties for your sanity. You have to put yourself first, okay? Always. Your peace is all that matters, honestly. But um, yeah, so those were my favorites on my initial listen. What about you? What were some of your favorites of your initial listen and what songs have grown on you as you've listened to this album over and over? Again, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. If you have any other recommendations, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'm running happy to watch and listen and react. In the meantime, I will talk to you later. Bye!